Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare the Lord of God is a touch your people. Bless your people, be with them. I bind all powers of darkness. I decree the Lord of God. I bind star manipulators in the name of Jesus. They shall not manipulate stars against us. But Father, stars in their course, they shall fight on our behalf in the name of Jesus Christ, like they did for Deborah. Thank you, Lord. Okay, Star Wars, part three. Star Wars, but the real star. The real star. All right, let's look at light versus darkness. Light versus darkness. So our scriptures are still the same. We start a Deborah, Judges 5, 19, 23. The Bible says the stars fought from heaven. And the star in their orbits fought against Caesarea. Caesarea. So we are going just to look at quickly consequences again to remind of ourselves consequences on the enemy when stars, God makes them fight against you. Rivers change their course and sweep the enemy. A, B, an angel started cursing the people. C, horses on their heels were pursuing the enemy. D, Sisera got confused and went to Israel and seek refuge from an Israeli woman. E, he fell asleep and was killed by a woman, a civilian, by that matter. All this because the stars were fighting for Deborah. So if the stars assisted Deborah in her warfare and fought against Sisera, there is nothing wrong if they fight for you today. Amen. Because it's in the Bible. God put it there so we can learn about this revelation. Those who may not think it's because they haven't gone deep in the things of God. Remember the Bible says, seek me and I will reveal deep and deep mighty things that thou knowest not. So a person may be speaking from a level where they do not know. But we are speaking from the level where we know. Are you know what I'm saying? Amen. Number B, ungodly, priest of darkness. Second Kings chapter 23 verse 5. And he put down the idolatrous uh, priest whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places, in the cities of Judah, and in the places around about Jerusalem, them also that burned incense unto Baal, to the sun, to the moon, and to the planet, and to all the hosts of heaven. So meaning there are two groups of priests here. Idolaters priests in Judah who burn incense in high, pre in high places, maybe to uh, the moon god and all that, but also there was another group also was burning again also to Baal and the sun and the moon and the planets and to all the hosts of heaven. That's what the Bible says, do not bow down to anything in heaven in the form of anything, created or uncreated or whatever. You know, everything is created. But what I'm saying is that anything in any form, whether the moon, whether the sun, under the sea, anything said, do not bow down to it. God is against it. Amen? Amen. 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 So we have established that every living being has a star. We have already established every living as well. That is why it's easy for powers of darkness to locate the star of a person. For instance, Judges chapter 1. Verse 13, B talks about, uh, sorry, Jude, Jude chapter 1, verse 13, B talks about wandering stars. Wandering? Stars. Jude chapter 1, verse 13 talks about wandering. Stars. It's like a wandering star. Wandering stars. So, in other words, wandering star means your star can be attacked and then you can lose sense. And sense of direction. You can lose sense and sense of direction. This is the reason why certain madness, certain muddy people never get well because their madness is from the stars, from the heavenlies. That's why they call it lunatic. 
luna. I get what I'm saying. That's why they call it what? Meaning you won't find the solution on the earth. You have to deal with it in that. Some people never get it okay. Because their issue is the lunatic. It's lunar. It has to do with the heavens. They have struck that person. They have become a wandering what? According to Jude chapter 1 verse 13b. You become a wandering star. Meaning that's why my person is just going anywhere. Wandering the streets. You have lost the course. Remember stars, when they lose their own course, they become what? Wandering and they end up becoming a dying star or falling star. So if they cast down your star, that's why they can name a star, name it your name and cast it down using witchcraft. After that you hear on the end, you run mad, you start wandering the street. You lose sense. Are you know what I'm saying? Amen. You lose direction. The Bible says in Jude, I'm gonna read it for you. In Jude chapter 1, verse 13, B says, they are like wandering stars doomed forever to dark, to blackest darkness. To blackest darkness. Just imagine. Meaning your life is doomed. You become a wandering star. Are you know what I'm saying? Amen. There are many people. They have no destiny. They, they look very handsome and very pretty. But nothing they can do because they, their star is one that they have become a wandering star. They have attacked their star because it starts to do with your destiny. That's why when you achieve much, even in Hollywood, they'll put you in a hole, hole of what? What do what you call? Hall of Fame. They'll put your star there. Yes. Why do you think they choose a star? Because the spiritual people know a star represents your destiny. Are you know what I'm saying? So if they attack your star, you become a wandering star. There are people, they can't gather nothing on the earth because in the heavens they have been attacked. Are you know what I'm saying? Amen. We're going to start praying dangerous prayers. <laughs> ah, glory be to God. Amen. Glory be to God. Glory be to Jesus. Amen. So now, Job and Moses mention about stars and ordinances of heaven. It shows that they knew how it would work for them. Look at Joshua. Because when you're reading these things, you think they he just came up at that time when he was in a battle, then he started thinking, hey, maybe let me try the sun. You think he was trying or he knew it before? He knew it before. So Joshua, this man, in the past, they were more knowledgeable about how the elements can work for them. That's why demons use elements to fight people. Wind, fire, different things. Because they know that they can respond. Are you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, for instance, Joshua commanded the son to stand still until he wins the battle. How did the son listen? It means he knew the knowledge even how to make the sun work for him. The Bible doesn't tell us that he just came up with an idea. He knew that it's getting late, but he, already, he was already equipped that me, I'm a child of God. I'm a servant of God. Even if it's late now. Eh? Even if it's late now. Even if it's late now, Moses, same. Moses would stretch his rod towards heaven, and heaven could rain hell. I gotta say, darkness could cover the place because they knew that these heavenly bodies, whatever God had intended, that they should fight for us. I gotta say, and Joshua knew that me, I'm a man of God. See, they don't know me, I will. I will extend 24 hours into 44 hours. I <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He extended because why he knew he had the power and that if he decreed, the sun will obey and will stand still. It will never get dark until he finishes the job because the job was for Jehovah. Amen. I you know what I'm saying? Amen. So it shows that the sun, the moon, and, and the stars 
control also the existence. They are called actually they try you know, they call the you know uh, how can I say uh, they call that the triangle or tri you know uh, there's a certain name they use like a triquad something powers the three stars they use maybe that's why they say maybe pyramid meaning one day one day one day I don't know but they use this as a you know, try like a tripod power. They govern and determine what we eat, what happens in the rivers, even the age of people. Eh? Yeah, like it, something like that. Are you know what I'm saying? So, Satan does not want believers to know how the moon, the sun, and stars work so that he can continue to destroy people using them. He will prevent people not to get that revelation so that he can continue using it. Because he knows it's open. It was original hours, but he has hijacked and he manipulated. Are you going to say? So every people had sophisticated knowledge about spiritual warfare than the Christians of today because you see like Deborah she never just took a chance there was no uh, rockets or any information from the there was no information from the sky for her to know that the stars maybe through prophetic vision she could see what was happening nobody knew about, knew about stars that time in terms of technology like we think we knew about stars you know, because of science that's a lie because it's in the Bible, right? Actually, the scientists used to think the world is like a table. While the book of Job already told us the world is round, and it has told us about how the round it was. Are you know what I'm saying? Are yeah. we together? Yeah. They only caught up later. <laughs> Are you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, in other words, what we are trying to say is that they can consult. Because Satan has taught them, the children of the world or evil people, they can consult the stars if they need to pick up information about someone. They want to know about you. This is the reason why most of you don't understand why, whether it's a Sangom or some other spiritualist of other kind, whether in Europe or Africa or anywhere, they use crystal balls or whatever, they do the same thing, or palms or whatever. So what happened is that they can pick up your information. That's what they can tell you, like as if they are prophets. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not prophets, see? They can tell you what happened. It shouldn't surprise you because the stars are giving them information. They gaze into the stars. Mm -hmm. And the stars will give them your name and everything. Mm -hmm. It means stars speaks for them to give you information. Mm -hmm. Are you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They'll consult a star which represents you. And that star will give them every information. I don't know what I'm saying. So in other words, they can do this by guessing into the bucket also of full of water and they can bewitch you if you're not protected by Jesus. They can use the water or they can use the mirror. They can also use the mirrors to locate the person's information. Many people have mirrors which are not normal. But if they do like that, they make incantation. You appear, if you're in a mall, they will be looking at you in a mall. They can take a needle and actually stab you. In the museum, in the Zambian museum, there is that kind of a mirror, one of the witchcraft um, museum, one section of the Zambian museum, where they show how they use the mirror to bewitch people. Are you know what I'm saying? So much that they will put in a museum. The rich ones, they will have a crystal ball. When they are guessing into the crystal ball, they are looking into the heavenlies, especially the heavenlies host, to reveal information about what is happening here on earth. So when they are looking, guessing in the crystal ball, they are actually, they may be guessing a crystal ball, but they are guessing into them. 
It's like the crystal of more spiritual connects me to, or it takes what is happening there and it passes through there and it starts showing it using the power of demons to show what is happening here on yes. I told you even GPS, you set light. Even your cell phone, you set light. Even television uses what? It has to happen in the heavenlies. That's a place which has the power to take and give. Are you know what I'm saying? Amen. So once they get information, there is some even intelligent companies, uh, not companies, but countries, US, Russia, China, South Africa, or anybody. The reason why it's more superpowers, the reason why they can boss is because of satellites. They have mounted things in the moon that can monitor what is happening in any part, in any part of the world. And therefore, they can get intelligence information whether you're having a plan to make a nuclear weapons. I get what I'm saying? So they're confident because of that. That was the reason why they were rushing to go to the moon, so that they can have an advantage of information over others. Actually, some of the demons taught them how to work so that they, if they want information, this is what they can do. They can have mechanical things, they can have spiritual things. So in other words, both spiritual and mechanical work together. I get what I'm saying? Amen. So once they get information, as they guess into the heavenlies, from the same spot, they can put arrows against you. So you must understand your environment to be able to control it. You cannot control the environment if you don't understand it. So in other ways, what I'm saying is that you must understand the heavenlies where you're seated with Christ for you too. Because some of us, we call down seated with Christ, you know, I'm seated with Christ in the heavenlies, but you know nothing about the heavenlies. <laughs> How can you control the environment you don't know? You must understand your environment too. That's the reason why God now is teaching us. To say this is what you can do. Amen. This is how you're supposed to pray. Amen. This is what is happening. You have an advantage if you know what is happening. Amen? Amen. I'm seated with Christ in the heavens. So the stars, I'll be finishing just now. The stars can be manipulated by either heavenlies or satanic priests or satanists or witches or wizards to ruin people's lives. They can do what? Manipulated. To ruin people's destinies. They can make you mad. They can strike you mad. Are you going to say? Heavenly bodies are created and were made to do good. To us. But you find that evil powers hijacked and manipulated and started using them against us. If a problem, listen to me on this one, if a problem harasses a person only at night, then the stars and the moon have been programmed against such a person. Are you get what I'm saying? Some people, every night they are sick. Daytime they are okay. Night comes then, they can't sleep. Morning comes they are okay. At night it's a time you dread because maybe of sickness or you can't sleep because people are trying to kill you. But the question is, why is that they are not trying to kill you daytime when you are walking? Why are they trying to kill you at night? It means it's not the sun they have programmed. It is the moon and the stars. So it means it gives you a clue of what you should start praying against. That any programming that has happened in the moon and the sun against you. I have met a lot of people that are denied. Oh, they become sick. Oh, pain. Hey. Taking them. A lot of people are taken to hospital tonight. Why? Because if the moon is trying to strike and the stars. So you need to know how to pray, man. Amen. Hello? Amen. So if you want to deal with this, you 
you have to be blameless. You have to be yeah. repent of your of your sin and to start to pray. Start to pray. that oh Lord, if anything has been programmed against my life in Octavus or Orion or praise, uh, you know, pray this or Maserati. I deprogram it now in Jesus' name. Because when wizards and witches and evil people, sometimes they'll say Orion. They'll say what? Orion. Orion. Let this person be struck by madness. And they are sure that in that star, there is one with signs. This is the one with stands with the, the other one the, with signs. That one with the signs are going to visit you. We will just send the signs. Strike the person with madness. Or strike them dead. I get what I'm saying? So if you don't know when people say, Mazarod, when they are chanting, or your. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> but you, if you say, Lord, yeah. in the name of Jesus, any programming that has been programmed against me, you know, in the Orion, in the name of let it be the program, hey, hey, what they say, Orion, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> if you don't know you're gone, don't kill you. A level Christianity. Not to just the, you have to know how to place the patterns in the name of Jesus. <laughs> I'm telling you, somebody that doesn't want these messages, the, the person is a witch themselves. Yeah. So, in other words, let the stars in their course start to fight for you in a particular situation. You can pray the latest stars. You can decree the latest stars in their cause starts to fight for me in a maybe in a particular situation in the name of Jesus. Now you know when someone, like I've already said, mentions Orion, Mazarot, and you know, Prades and Octavus, all of these names have been used by the enemy or by the enemies against us. They plant arrows in them to afflict us. If we don't know, we may end up being a wandering star and not make it in life. Wicked people. See, if I ask him, which planets, or if I just came and said, do you know Orion? You know, in your mind, you would say, I bet like the Egyptians. I was watching some Egyptian court. They were talking about how they have put the pyramids of Giza in line with Orion and same names. Hmm? Hello. Amen. If I came and said, you know Orion, you say, ah, prophet, I've never heard that, but I've heard that name being mentioned by wicked people. You say, I don't think it's in the Bible. You, you want to know the names of some stars. Now, for God to mention those stars, whether the seven stars or no, Orion and you know Octaras, whatever. It means those stars have a lot to do. They are like on the reading, they are on the reading line in afflicting people, or they carry more power that they can be used to fight for us, or maybe people have used them to fight against us. Hello? Amen. This has nothing, whether somebody goes to the ocean, they still connect to the same because the ocean is controlled by the moon and the stars. So if they are doing a ritual, calling a spirit in the ocean, that spirit uses that. So you do to the ocean, that spirit draws power from or sends the message and the star shoots you on the line wherever you are. Again, I'm saying. Amen. 
Amen. Hello? Amen. And the believer doesn't know. Amen. So in other words, they can make a lot of people wondering stars. Either mad or just wondering, wonder. I was saying last time, now you have nothing to do. You have nothing, not in this church. You have nothing to do. Uh, if your uncle is fixing a bike, you're trying to help him. If somebody else is trying to ding a well, you're trying, because you have nothing to do. You're trying to prove to people that you're not lazy. It's only that you don't have any wandering star. Maybe that's why is it Cain who God put the curse as a wandering? Put it on his forehead, the plan, a sign, as a wandering, wandering, roaming, visiting home to home. You become even a liar at the end. Because you'll be lying about this one because you wanted to give you a meal or something. Amen. Not here. Here, we have to fix your life. Amen. Jesus has to fix your life. Amen. You shall not be a wanderer. Amen. In the name of Jesus. So in short, I just want to close just now. A sorcerer, eh? Sorcerer. They can carry out their warfare in the air. Or they carry their warfare in them. Amen. Where the devil ends. That's why it says, you know, wickedness in the heavenly places, right? Where the devil what? Yeah. Reigns. So we can also take it into the heavenlies where we are seated with Christ. Because that's the aim why we are seated with Christ. It's not just fashion. It's not just to make us feel good. That, oh, we confess I'm seated with Christ in, in the heavenlies. It's not fashion. It's not to make you feel good. No. It has a purpose of you to wage war from there. So that your life here on earth should be better. Amen. Yeah. Amen. This is the reason why you don't understand. I've said this once, and also I'm saying that sometimes you your spirit is stretched into the heavenly places to fight war. And that's why some of you, because you pray too much, you find that you sometimes you have pains in places where you know you never felt. Some the devil, yeah, but some it's where you never felt because you, when you are your spirit was being used to fight. In the heavenlies, you didn't know that the demon cut you or hit you. That's why now in the physical, you start feeling a pain. That's why sometimes you're walking and suddenly you start feeling something is wrong. Like you start feeling miserable. There is nothing wrong. Your spirit at that time has been called for warfare. So your spirit is fighting at that time. Your spirit man is with swords. I get what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong. But you, you need to help your spirit by keep on praying, keep on praying. That's why it's good to pray in tongues at that time because you, you don't know. God never told you that he took your spirit but you just like feeling. So if you pray in tongues, the Holy Ghost knows exactly the part of the one who stretch your spirit. I get what I'm saying? Amen. Hello? Amen. So in other words, I've already said the wind Carries the wind, yes. or maybe before that, let me say people can astro travel. People can astro travel to visit stars. They can astro travel to visit stars to visit stars. So they can or they can send an incantation. One of the two, they can either come out of the body to visit stars to harm someone, or they can send an incantation like SMS. <laughs> Send what? Yes. To destroy lives. They can chant. So the wind carries whatever is deposited in the stars against you. So speak to the wind, like Jesus said, you know, peace be. The enemies can control, I'm repeating again, the enemies can control a star. Give it the name of a person and cast it down. Once it is done, a person. His glory is buried. Well, if your glory is buried, you can't achieve anything. You become like a wandering star, or you can die. Are you know what I'm saying? So, I speak that no one shall locate your star. I destroy you in Jesus' name. I speak that no one shall locate your star and destroy you in the name of Jesus. You shall shine like star.
appoint astrologer. I remove any star that you put yourself under through magazines and papers before. In the name of Jesus, I break that curse. And may you star like, like, like Joseph. May you be the leader in the name of Jesus. I decree to be like God bless you. Clap for Jesus.